My wife, Les, and I met when we were really young. We were 14 years old. And uh, she went home and told her mom, I met the boy I'm going to marry. And sure enough, when I was 20 and she was 19, we got married. Uh, we really had no spiritual dimension to our lives. I was an atheist. Uh, she was more of an agnostic. She didn't know what to think about God. And then through some circumstances, she met a woman who was a Christian and a nurse, and they became best friends. And this woman named Linda shared Jesus with her, took her to church, and then Leslie came up to me one day and gave me the worst news I could get as an atheist, which is that she had become a child of God. And I thought, oh no. I'm first word that went through my mind was divorce. I was gonna walk out. And so we had a lot of arguments and disruption in our marriage. It was a very difficult time because when one person's a follower of Jesus and one person isn't, you clash in every area of life. How are you gonna raise your kids? Are you gonna raise them in the church or not? What are you going to do on weekends? You're going to go to church or you're going to, you know, go out drinking late on Saturday night and sleep on a hangover on Sunday morning? I remember when my wife wanted to give money to the church. I said, you're out of your mind. I actually said to her, look, why don't you go in the bathroom and flush the money down the toilet? Because that would be the same effect. It's a very difficult situation when your spouse is not a believer. And I think the best advice is to build on three relationships. The first relationship is your relationship with God. Your spouse is probably gonna discourage you from going to church. They're not gonna want you to be praying and so forth, but you need to find a way to continue to grow spiritually because God is gonna change your life in a way that ultimately your spouse is probably gonna find winsome and attractive. In my wife's case, um, she would do a Bible study at home when I was at work. Second relationship to build upon is with a mentor, someone of the same gender who is a more mature Christian who can mentor you in your spiritual growth. Leslie needed help because I discouraged her from going on weekends to weekend services. And so she needed someone to guide her, to ask questions, to pray for her, to encourage her. And that's what her friend Linda did. And then the third relationship to build on is your relationship with your spouse. You marry that person for a reason. You love them. And you probably have a lot of commonality and things that you used to do together a lot. Uh, build on those. Uh, don't let this become a wedge that separates you, but reach out to your spouse and build on those things in common that you've got uh, to, to keep those, uh, those bonds tight. And my wife, I never realized at the time, but she was praying for me every day. And uh, her Christian friend had given her a verse, Ezekiel 36, 26 that says, moreover, I will give you a new heart and I will put a new spirit within you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. And this whole two years that I'm on this spiritual investigation, checking into the historical data for Christianity, what I never knew was every day by herself, on her knees, Leslie was praying that verse for me. And uh, ultimately God answered that prayer.